Welcome to my channel, Crystal here. Do you always feel tired, fatigue, and lack of energy? You're not alone. Most of us live in a mentally stressful and a busy life, while physically we're hooked up in front of computers for long hours. The sedentary lifestyle could really wear us down and make everything we need to do unbearable. Today's 30 minutes full body stretch is to counter that and to give your quick energy boost by increasing the blood flow, raising the heartbeat, and working out the whole body. You will get out of that laziness and tiredness and feel refreshed and recharged to crush the rest of your day. Now go grab your mat and a water bottle. Let's get started. Go ahead, come down on your hands and knees. Let's start with a few cats and cows to release the tension you're holding in your body. Hips on top of knees, shoulders on top of wrists. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, lift your head and chest. Exhale, draw your navel back to your spine as you round your back, shoulder blades wide. Inhale, chest open, head lift, exhale, round your back. A few more. Inhale, chest lift, shoulders down. Exhale, round your back, gaze at your navel. You can also customize the cat and cow on your own movement. Shift your hips side to side. Gently roll your head around to loosen your body up. Now come back to neutral tabletop position. Then lift your knees and just your hands come to high plank upper push up position. Lower down slowly to your belly. Let's move on to dynamic cobra. Hands under the shoulders, squeeze your elbows in, heels together, draw your pelvis down so your lower abdominal muscles are engaged. Take an inhale, gently lift your chest off the floor, put a tiny pressure into your hands, engaging more of your lower lumbar spine, more than the tricep. Exhale, lower the tip of the nose to the floor. Repeat, inhale, fill up the lung through the collarbone all the way up. Exhale, soften your weight down as you release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower down. Train yourself to pull the shoulders back to engage the lower back muscles, traps. Help you to improve your posture. We've spent so much time to roll our shoulders forward. This is a nice way to counter that. Now push yourself up, upper facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet left and right. Push down and spread your fingers wide. Now take a big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or jump top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hands circle up again. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Circle the arms up, inhale. Exhale, dive down. Let's repeat a few more rounds. Interlace the fingers behind, pull the shoulders open. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Inhale, circle the arms up to sky. Exhale, dive down. Interlace the finger behind the flat back. Pull your shoulders open really wide. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, circle the arms back up again. Exhale, come all the way down. Flat back inhale. Exhale, come down on your hands. Feet back, plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Lift the chest up, Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or jump top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart connection. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall down. Interlace the fingers in the back and flat back inhale. Exhale, high plank. Lower down. Then upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend your knees. Walk or jump top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up one more time. Exhale, fold down. Interlace the finger in the back and flat back. Inhale. Exhale, come down. High plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Then upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now your body should feel completely warmed up. It's time to move on to our next sequence. Inhale, right leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, right leg top of the mat. Back foot flat, warrior two. Car wheel the arms right to the front, left to the back. Bend the front knee right on top of right ankle. Gaze at the front middle fingertip to find your balance. Bend your right knee down a little more to deepen the stretch. We're going to do a few rounds of the lateral stretch to really open up your chest and the heart and release more energy from inside. Inhale, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, move right elbow on right knee. Bring your left hand all the way up and over. Stretch the whole left side of the body. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Barely any weight on the left hand. Right hand reach up and over. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, right elbow, right knee. Left side stretch. Back up to center, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Once you get the rhythm, do it on your own pace and build your own flow. Don't forget to incorporate your breath. If you have more flexibility, now reach your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. Left hand reach up and over. Straight line from the outer edge of the left foot all the way through the left fingertips. Static hold here for a few deep breaths. Now inhale back up to warrior two, then circle your arms down onto the mat. Kick the right foot back up and high, three leg dog lower down. Inhale, lift the chest, lift your thighs if you can. Then exhale, downward facing dog. The other side. Inhale, left leg high. 
exhale left leg top of the mat come to warrior two back foot flat extend your arms opposite directions gaze over your front middle finger now drop your left elbow on your left knee right arm reach up and over straight line on the right side of the body don't collapse down lift up stretch long inhale back to warrior two exhale reverse back stretch the left side of the body inhale come back up exhale come to front left elbow left knee right hand stretch out inhale warrior two exhale reverse warrior let's do a few more rounds to build the flow Now, if you can, drop your left hand on the floor, inside of your left foot. Bend your knee deeper. Reach your right hand further. Feel the strengthening of your left thigh. Stay here and build up the strength and endurance on your leg. Are you still breathing? Very good. Now back to warrior two hands circle on the floor left leg back up flow down three leg dog chaturanga cobra then exhale downward facing dog take a few deep breaths here in downward facing dog to gather yourself together before we move on to the next sequence big inhale through the nose Open the mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. When you're ready, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg top of the mat. Drop your left knee down on the mat. Right hand to your right knee. Inhale, circle your left hand up to the sky. This is a great place to stay. It helps you to open up the front of your hip flexors and quads, abdominal muscles. Expand the back as well. When you find the balance, raise your right arm to join the left really stretch up look up maybe even look back to deepen the stretch give it another deep inhale stretch up exhale hands on the floor lift your back knee right leg back and high three leg dog lower down lift your chest up inhale exhale curl the toes lift the hips downward facing dog Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left leg top of the mat. Drop your back knee down, hands on your left knee. Stabilize yourself, then inhale, circle your right arm to the sky. Stay here for a moment to really open up your hips. Left arm, join the right arm if you can. We spend a lot of time seated with hips hinged. Collect a lot of tightness at the front of the hip flexors. This pose works really great to counter that. If it feels difficult to stay here, try to use your breath as an invitation to release that holding, the tightness, and that collection through the front of the hips. Inhale, stretch up one more time. Then exhale hands back on the mat left leg back and flow high three leg dog then lower down chaturanga upward facing dog then exhale downward facing dog 
big inhales through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale it out. Let it go. Excellent. Now take another inhale, then bend your knees, exhale, jump or walk top of the mat. Inhale flat back, exhale, circle your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, rise up, arms to the sky, exhale, hands to heart. Now drop your hands on the side, bring your feet together. Let's set up for dancer's pose, the biggest back bend for today's practice. Now bend your right knee, shift the weight on the left leg, extend your right arm to the back to grab the right ankle from inside. Once you get a solid grip, then raise your left arm up. When you're ready, start to kick your right foot into your right hand. That kick will bring the right foot and leg up. To balance out, your body will naturally lean forward and down. Gaze your front middle finger deep in your breast will help you find balance in this pose. It is okay to fall out. Get right back in. The process is always more important than the outcome. Deep inhale. Then start to come back up slowly. Release your hands down and roll your shoulders in circles to loosen up. Let's get ready for the other side. Now feet together, hands on the hips. Shift your weight to the right leg. Bend your left knee. Left hand reach out and grab the left ankle from inside. Bring your knees together, right arm up to the sky. Stand tall and find your balance. Inhale, kick your left foot into your left hands. As you kick higher, lean the torso forward. If you have a mirror in front of you, you should be able to see the left toes come out right on top of your head. Hold and breathe. Find the stillness in the center of the storm. Then slowly back out. Release down and relax. Roll your shoulders. How do you feel? With the fresh blood releases and it runs through your body, new energy is generated and you should feel amazing right now. Inhale, circle your hands up overhead. Exhale, come all the way down. Hands on the mat, feet back, come to high plank. Then lower down with control, belly on the mat, feet flat. We're gonna spend the rest of the class on the mat. Move on to the dynamic locus pose. Now go ahead, bring your hands to the lower back, palms facing up, left cheek, on the mat. As you inhale, lift your head, chest, and your right foot. As you exhale, lower down. Switch and rest on your right cheek. Inhale, lift your chest and left foot. Put your shoulders up and back. Then exhale, lower down. Let's repeat a few times. Inhale, right foot lift. Exhale, right cheek on the mat. Inhale, left foot lift. Exhale, left cheek on the mat, lower down. When you lift up, do not engage too much on the glutes. Pay more attention to the lower back. We're gonna add the arms. Inhale, right foot up. Reach your left hand out and front, stretch fingertips. Exhale, sweet left hand onto the lower back, right foot down the other side. Inhale, lift the heart up, left heel, right arm. Exhale, lower them down. Take the left cheek to the floor. Inhale, left hand, right foot. Exhale, lower them down. This is a very good pose to correct 
asymmetry in the body, which causes a lot of problems in the hips and backs. This will naturally strengthen the parts and heal your body, eliminating those ill sitting and bad posture throughout your day. Now we're gonna go a little deeper. Keep your heels together. Interlace your fingers behind your back, and open your shoulders more. Inhale, reach your knuckles backward behind you. Squeeze your legs. Lift your chest off the mat. Lift your legs off the floor. Lift as high as you can. Hold the pose and breathe in and out through the nose, trying to relax your face. Let's give it another deep inhale. Lift up. Then exhale, soften and release down. Take a moment here and get ready for our next move, full locus. Now chin back on the floor. Then bend your knees, reach back. Grab your feet around the ankles or the top of the feet. Drive your knees a little close together. Then start to kick your feet into your hands. This will naturally bring your chest off the floor. Breathe into the belly. Let your breast to give a belly gentle massage. We're gonna hold here for at least three to five breaths. Keep your chest lifted. It's not about how high you can lift. It is about finding that willpower and ability to stay in this pose, feeling abundance of energy pouring into you. It's okay to feel shaky. Keep lifting for one more last inhale. Then exhale, softly release down. Feels so good. Take a moment here to recover. Well done. Now let's give the back a little more love by pressing your hands onto the floor. Sit back on your heels. Knees wide, toes touch, melting into the floor for child pose. Take a few deep breaths here to slow down your mind, to connect to your inner self for deeper relaxation. Now start to walk your hands to the right side of the mat. Keep your left hip glued on your left heel. Feel the stretch. All the way from the left fingertips through your armpit down to your waist. Walk your hands to the other side. Stretch out the other side of the body, nice and open. Now walk your hands back to the middle. You can keep your hands where they are, or put them on the back of your neck to give your triceps a little stretch. Now extend your hands to the front, then push yourself up. Come to an easy cross leg sitting position. Spine nice and tall. Then bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind your back. Turn your torso to the right. Spine twist and breathe. Gently release back. Crawl your fingers in front of you maybe just a couple of inches 
or you come to the full forward fold. Surrender yourself. Take time to calm down. Clean up the mind. You can also rest on the block or your arms for more support. Now sit back up. Switch legs. Then right hand to your left knee. You're going to revolve to the left side. Spine tall. Come back to center. Crawl out in the front. Fold forward onto your leg. Take the moment to connect within. Feel grateful of your body no matter where you are. Rest your head on your arms for more support. We're going to finish our today's practice with a short Shavasana. Go ahead to make your way down on your back. Feet open. Roll your shoulders under. Open your heart. Put one hand on your heart, the other hand on your belly. Feeling the ups and downs of your chest and the belly as you breathe in and out. You can close your eyes. Put a gentle smile on your face. Feel your heart with joy. Stay here as long as you need it. When you're ready, take a big inhale. Reach your hands overhead. Exhale, roll yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale, circle your hands overhead. Exhale, hands back to heart. This is the end of our today's 30 minutes energy boosting flow. I hope you are now feeling recharged and full of energy to crush your day. Thank you for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This is Crystal. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope I can see you soon. Namaste. Mm -hmm.